for your patience. Just a few things here, and, and we'll get right to your questions. Uh, so earlier today, Secretary Austin spoke by phone with Turkish Minister of National Defense Yasar Guler to discuss Turkish activity in proximity to U.S. forces in Syria. The Secretary reaffirmed that the United States remains in Syria exclusively in support of the campaign to defeat ISIS. The Secretary also acknowledged Turkey's legitimate security concerns and underscored the importance of close coordination between the United States and Turkey to prevent any risk to U.S. forces or the global coalition's defeat ISIS mission. You know, Turkey uh, is one of our strongest and most valued uh, NATO allies, and that, that partnership continues and will continue. Uh, so this is certainly a regrettable incident. Um, at approximately 7.30 local time in Syria today, uh, our, our forces had observed UAVs conducting airstrikes in the vicinity of Hasaka, Syria. Uh, some of those strikes were inside a declared U.S. restricted operating zone, uh, or, or ROZ, near Hasaka. Uh, and we're approximately a kilometer away from U.S. forces who relocated to bunkers. At approximately 11.30 local time, a Turkish UAV uh, re-entered the ROZ on a heading toward where U.S. forces were located. Uh, U.S. commanders assessed that the UAV, which was now less than a half a kilometer from U.S. forces, to be a potential threat, and U.S. F-16 fighters subsequently shot down the UAV in self-defense uh, at approximately 11.40 local time. It's important to point out that no U.S. forces were injured during the incident. We have no indication that, uh, that, the, uh, that Turkey was intentionally targeting U.S. forces. How striking is it that, I mean, Turkey is a NATO ally, and is this the first time that you can recall that a uh, NATO ally has had to shoot down the aircraft of another NATO partner? Yeah, I think, again, uh, it's a regrettable uh, incident, but uh, U.S. commanders on the ground did assess that there was a potential threat, and so they took prudent action uh, in this scenario. But again, the secretary has talked to his counterpart. Uh, they had the opportunity to have a fruitful conversation and, again, uh, commit to one another that the U.S. and Turkey will continue to closely communicate and coordinate. And, and as I mentioned, Turkey does remain a very important and valuable uh, NATO ally and partner to the United States.